In today's video, I will be showing you 100 secrets inside of Brookhaven. For the first secrets, we'll need to spawn this brand new castle. And we can access a bunch of new information about Mr. Brookhaven inside this secret. First of all, I'll need to tell you where the king hides his money. Simply click on this little candle and you'll see this bookshelf opens up. From here, we can claim our beautiful money. Now, this isn't the main secret but I thought I'd just tell you this to start. To access the main secrets, we'll need to run upstairs and you'll notice some of the rooms are color-coded. We need to basically run through this wall and you'll see a painting of a king on his trusty horse. Now by clicking this painting, you'll hear a weird noise. Isn't that strange? Now there's way more to this secret, so let's not waste any time. Run to this furnace and simply point your camera over it and you'll see the first hidden message. Pause the video if you want to read this, but basically we need to click this note and it also makes a weird sound. Now you're you're probably thinking, what do we do now? Well now you can run into this dungeon and through this cell. Here you can access this secret key that's activated by the note. Now with this key we can see there are no notes on this table. Well by jumping on the bookshelf it causes lightning. And now we see some new notes. It says our forefathers have written upon these scrolls the true meaning of life. It has been my honor translating these sacred writings into one book that you may read these words and know the truth. I have no idea what that means. But if we now jump on the bookshelf, wait! Did I get hacked? And if we now jump on the bookshelf again, we have lightning. And all the lights went out. This is a little freaky. But if we look at the note, it has changed. It now says, Beware for I saith unto you. Any other book is meant to mislead you from the truth and keep you in darkness. Look into thyself for the light is in us all. I guess he means the truth is within us all. I guess that makes sense. But let's move on to the next secret. So this video shows us a really weird thing this guy found in the town hall. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I believe it. He basically types in this activation command and grabs the money, then goes into this secret room and finds a clown. Okay, there's no way this is true, but we still need to investigate because it looks pretty spooky. So I'll first need to type in that activation command and grab this yummy money, then click behind this little pole to activate this secret room. And uh, guys, I don't think it worked. I mean, we got this secret room though, so I guess it's a secret. This next secret allows us to eliminate any player. So I got this innocent fan to join me. He's gonna be my test subject for today. All we need to do is carry him in this bed and walk to any train station. And here we can see a secret room. And through this room, if we keep spamming the bed and walking, he'll glitch through the wall and fall to his death. To see this in action, he's gonna try it on me. And guys, I don't think it worked properly. It backfired. Now he's the one falling to his death. I guess that's what you get for trying to kill me. So this next secret involves the hospital. And apparently we can actually grow taller in Brookhaven. So we need to lay down in this bed and then run to the x-ray machine to get a x-ray. After a little, it should work. Now we just click our avatar and... Whoa! It worked! Dude, I'm super tall. I guess if you want to be giant, you can go ahead and try out this glitch. I'm not sure why a x-ray would extend my back though. For this next glitch, we'll need to spawn this military house. And inside this house holds a super weird secret. We need to jump down this ladder and over here we can simply jump through this wall. Now this is a little tricky, but just follow my steps. You'll need a sleeping bag and you have to glitch through this wall. And now you can find this super secret room. Here you can find this super weird note meant for Mr. Brookhaven. Now if we run back to the other room, we can now access this super secret safe. This is really cool, I had no idea this existed. Before I continue, 86.6% of you guys aren't subscribed. What the heck? Subscribe to be a part of the cult. This next secret involves the Brookhaven alien. Now it's a bit complicated, but just follow my steps and we'll succeed. Hop into this secret room and you'll need to click this strange object. Also don't ask me why I'm super small, I have no clue. Now run to the upstairs area and you'll need to click this little button under the table. After you've done this, click the Brookhaven agency paper and sit in this chair. After all the glue goes everywhere, you'll need to run to the studio. And here you can glitch through the wall to access this secret power supply. Flick all of these buttons on. Now if you run to the alien, he's open. You can click this little button and lightning will start to surround him. Okay, this next secret is for sure to amaze you. But before I show you, make sure to like the video. These videos take a while to edit, so it really means a lot. Anyway, you'll need this secret book. You can get this through running to the library and jumping up this bookshelf. Once you've got this, spawn this super creepy house and we'll basically need to access the secret room. Just walk into the bedroom and right here you can fall through this hole. Now simply hold the book out and sit in this chair and you'll see this super weird combination. Now if we run through this mountain, we can see the full code right here. No one knows what this code does yet. 
but it sure is suspicious. The next secret I'm about to show is probably the most insane secret in Brookhaven. In fact, it's literally over 10 secrets in one. This takes a lot of steps, so make sure to watch the whole thing carefully. For the first step, we'll need to make our way to Mr. Brookhaven's old house and click this secret button next to the refrigerator. You'll see a sign that says there's seven crystals hidden around the map. For the first crystal, we need to go ahead and make our way to the top of the hospital. Right here, you'll see there's a hidden crystal you can claim. That's one of seven crystals. Now we need to run over to the church and go to the plant pot. And now we go ahead and claim the second crystal. We now have to run back over to Mr. Brookhaven's house where we can go ahead and claim the third crystal. And through doing that, we can run to the Brookhaven housing area and claim the fourth crystal. For the fifth crystal, we run over to the stables and claim the crystal behind the haystack, which we can now go ahead and claim the sixth crystal over at the mountains. That crystal took forever to find. I'm glad you didn't catch me raging on camera. And for the final crystal, we go ahead and make our way to the stables, where we can now claim the crystal that teleports us to the statue. Now you'll see we have this magic power on my hand. We now need to run over to the hospital and through this secret room, where we can click this little button. We now have the magic power on both hands now simply teleport over to the yacht by clicking this button now there's not much left to this secret trust me by running over to the town hall we can flip up these electricity switches we now need to run over to one of these plant pots and memorize this code run to the top of this school and you can now enter this super secret room enter the code and this super secret power source is activated there's also this secret message by mr brookhaven near the wall now i'm not gonna lie this secret was a mouthful i'm dead already i think we should watch some brookhaven secret tiktoks to re-energize our brains so this girl explains that you can actually control the weather inside Brookhaven. She's running to the police station and I'm guessing she takes a secret key. She's now teleporting to house number 13 and running all the way to this secret box. Looks like she enters the box and flicks the switches, then types in her username as the password and she controls the weather. We definitely need to try this out. So we need to start by jumping up this secret passage and behind this secret cabinet we can collect this blue key card. We now need to teleport to house number 13 and I'm guessing we need to run ahead to this weird electricity box. So we flick on all the switches and now we need to type our usernames as the password. By the way if you guys aren't following me make sure to do that. Anyone who follows me can join me in game. The access has been approved. Alright let's see if the weather changed. Uh, I don't think it did. That kinda stinks. So this video shows a method to teleport to random areas around Brookhaven. Looks like we need to spawn this house and claim these crystals. We need to flick some buttons and we just teleport. I have some faith for this one. Let's spawn the house she was on about and we now need to go get those crystals from earlier. Also guys, what's your favorite Brookhaven secret so far? Comment, I'm kinda curious. We need to flick this little button, and now we spawn the funeral and flick this, and it worked. We got teleported. I guess this is a pretty cool way to troll your friend. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I have so many really cool secrets to show you guys that I couldn't fit into one video. If I included everything, it would get super long and boring. So instead, I'm gonna chop these secrets up into parts. The next part will include a bunch more new secrets for me to uncover. So make sure to like the video for part two.